Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 2 of the Ice Guy and his cool female colleague. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, what the heck happened today? Ah oh, yes, the four days of knocking on her. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm a little upset. I didn't think this was coming out today. I thought this was coming out tomorrow. So when I came home, I immediately had help my mom and stuff. And so now I'm just getting started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you will, you know, always help you. Oh. My clothes are on my, oh my God. <laughs> it would be my work clothes. <laughs> Don't pay attention to that. That didn't happen. You dropped it. I mean, but you should go. It's for everyone. Yeah, it is a training routine. Exactly, you can't skip it. It's mandatory. Plus, you get to spend time with you. Is she gonna buy something on Amazon? <laughs> So then what the heck airs tomorrow for me? Let's check real quick. Sooner. Um, spy classroom? Both of the shit. Oh, sugar on you, Isty. And I gotta make the thumbnail tonight. Oh. <laughs> Why didn't I save my thumbnail from season one? But see, it would be better to make one for a season. Okay, okay, okay. DJ, we're making it after this. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, what is it? Hmm? Oh, it's supposed to be sound the waves. Oh, cool, cool. But how is that supposed to help with the Okinawa trip? You? It is. It's not a dream. 
<laughs> mm -hmm, you got this. No. Yeah, I think she and Oak can do it. I love how he is putting his all into this because he really wants to go to be the baby. Oh my God. <laughs> He's taking his training a little too vigorously, but I love it. All this to be with the girl that he loves. <laughs> nice. So would this trip just be for them to get each other, oh well, no, to get to know each other more for them, right? <laughs> it's pretty. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you are on vacation, so kind of. Yeah. Who would have thought episode two, a beach episode? Oh, he looks so cute. Oh, that helps. Uh oh. Well, that's a little boring. Shame, too. It's like your first real vacation. Oh. <laughs> no, you want him to know. It's a cute.
<laughs> Excuse me. Oh, maybe you should buy a matching pair. Oh, they both want to go for it. Oh, my God. Of course, the one next to it. <laughs> like, isn't it summer though? Oh my god. No, it's spring. Spring, right? Yeah. <laughs> No, it's okay. It was an accident. <laughs> yes, guys are allowed to be happy. It's too hot outside. Uh oh. What about a cold drink? Is that okay? Or is it just limited for your body? Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh. oh, he's close. <clears throat> Why are you? Yeah. Oh, 
my god, that's so cute. So what should we do? She'll go get it for you. That's just a boy in love. Oh my god. <clears throat> So, how are you gonna grow back? Mm -hmm. And this time you're short! <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop thinking about her, can you? That's because you like him! Oh my god, he's so cute! Nice. It makes me hungry. It makes me want the pizza that I, you know, bought Saturday from Papa John's. Well, you could just always watch him from the hotel. The fireworks. I hope you wore comfortable shoes.
<laughs> Even that one for you, so Oh, he's so cute. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh. I don't know who he's voiced by. He's probably familiar to me. After I'm done watching this stuff, so we're gonna check. Yes. But this is cute. See, baby. Oh my god, that was so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Poor baby. You felt bad for him because I was like, oh my god. You know, the weather report. Extremely sunny out today. Oh my god, don't go outside. And the poor baby, he runs to the convenience store in the hotel and is like, oh my god, there's no more ice cream or anything. Oh no. But you would think, um, <clears throat> well, because no, because the, the, all the freezers were down, so ice cream wasn't going to work, ice was going to work. Nothing that was extremely cold, cold, like an ice cold drink would have helped him as well because of the fact is it would have been lukewarm or room temperature and such. Or like, you know how when a drink can be somewhat cold and it's not 100% cold? Like imagine you having, um, for me, like I love Sprite or Mountain Dew. When, when it's a hot, really, really hot day, like here in Florida, and you have like a thing of Sprite. Like, yes, refreshing. Or you have a Blix Ice tea, which, you know, the bottle's in front of me right now. Or you have sweet tea from McDonald's. And how refreshing that is. Even the McDonald's iced tea is like diabetic sweet. Uh oh. I don't think that'll happen though. You guys are like this. So now nah, I don't think you're gonna be separated. But as I was saying, so McDonald's, sweet tea, diabetic sweet. Like, okay. Um, I can't, okay, so I know most of my um, Japanese fans will not understand this. Okay, so as someone who lived, who's currently living in Florida, and who has lived in Nebraska, anytime I have gone to a McDonald's and I have ordered sweet tea, my tea is like uber sweet. It's good, but it's like a little too much. So sometimes I have to... Um, dilute the sweetness with some water and such. I, I think if anybody came to an American at McDonald's and they try the sweet tea, immediately be like, this is too much sugar. What the heck is in this and such? That's the same thing if they go to like Honey Bay Ham here in Florida. Um, the Honey Bay Ham that is like right next to my dog. Uh, like their sweet tea is uber, like mm, no, it's not uber sweet. In my, in my opinion, it's like, okay, if McDonald's sweet tea here in America is like the sweetest of sweet, the Honey Baked Ham sweet tea um, is like half of that. Like it's sweet, but it's not like, oh my God. Like when you when you drink it, you, you instantly know like, oh my God, I, I feel like I'm just drinking um, or eating like a hella big of 
big behind spoonful of sugar and, and it's just like stuck in your throat. Like, you can't swallow because you need water and such. That's what it feels like to drink McDonald's tea. But um, Honey Baked is more subtle. And it's not that bad. But yes, like, I, I, I mean, mm, yeah. So you never go to McDonald's here in America and try the sweet tea. Mm -hmm. Long story short, don't do it. But I thought it was super cute. Like, oh, the mango, the beach and stuff, seeing the fireworks. Like, oh, I'm like, oh. Uh, you was just like, yeah, like, come on, let's just go on this little detour. And, and then boom, fireworks. Like, oh my God, that was so fucking cute. But I don't think, you know, and you, they're going to get separated. They, like, I, I feel like their their boss knows, like, who works well with who. So they're not going to get separated. It, it's very similar to the other adult anime um, about the workforce that my uh, my favorite female Seiyu is in. And it's about the girl with the green hair and um, her <laughs> giant himbo um, co-worker and such. And how they were falling in love with each other. And, and it gives me that vibe when I watch this anime because I'm like, oh my god, it's so cute. But yeah, like they're, they're dynamic and how they work so well together. So yeah, I don't think they're going to get separated. So we, fingers crossed, that it doesn't happen. But we won't go on until next Tuesday. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode two of The Ice Guy and its cool female colleague. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode three. Bye, guys.